Hello YouTube, Arbok Lover1618 here, back with another vacuum video. Uh, this time it's for the Hoover Bagless Twin Chamber. I actually got this today from my boss. Um, I had asked her, him, no, wait, yes, him about it. Um, um, and I think on in August and it took him and first off he said I asked him about it I said oh that's a nice looking vacuum what would, would you ever think about selling it trading it or giving it away he said oh, it works too good I'll think about it so um it took him this long to think about getting rid of it. So, yeah. But anyway, I have it now. Um, when I got this thing, the cup was full. It stank. And I had to run it for a little while with some carpet fresh stuff in it so it smells just fine now and another thing about this is it has lots of similarities between I think the Hoover Breathe Easy as far as the brush as far as the bottom goes um <clears throat> the twin chamber system on it it's not exactly the best in the world but hey, it's a direct air machine so it does clean pretty good so yeah anyway um, I will give it a running here so um I will put some paper down after I run it a little bit and when I I will show a few other things about it sorry it's getting hard for me to talk here also I want to update the I if you know Mitchell Armstrong on YouTube I am going to be getting a dirt devil broom vac Model 702, I think it is. And it's in transit. So look forward to that. So now we'll give this thing a running. <sighs> I hope that camera ain't glitching out. I actually attempted this video before and the camera kept glitching. So hopefully it's not anymore. Also this thing needs a new belt because if I have it too low the brush just stops. And this is really low carpet. Here we go.
go get some paper and I will finish the video. Don't worry, it won't, it shouldn't have a hard time picking this up because it's a direct air vacuum. So, direct air vacuums pretty much pick up all fine particles and all that. Don't pick up anything hard with a direct air machine, in case you're new to them. Uh, especially very fine particles such as fine, like, um, flour and baking soda. So, yeah. Also, I'm going to check this filter real quick on the side. And it looks like I need to go on uh, go over it with a shop vac. Yep, the bagless twin chamber wasn't really their best direct air machine. Whoops, sorry. I moved the camera by accident. Shit. Alright. Anyway. So tell me how you liked it, tell me what y'all want to see, and I will see what I can do and how I can do it. Um, I want to mention that um, I won't be doing any major tests with this as far as paper and maybe rice tests. No, I don't think I'll do rice tests either. Um... I also want to say that filter chamber is not really easy to clean. Um, you have to kind of go over it with a shop vac the whole time because if you just beat it off or whatever, it's not going to get clean enough for the performance to be too good. And a screen between the filter and the regular dirt chamber. It's a pain to clean unless you have a really strong shop vac. Such as my dad's heavy duty wet dry Hoover triple duty actually. Because you can use it as a blower, a leaf blower. Um, yeah, I usually go over filters with an air compressor, but considering that this thing, um, the filter gets dirty really easily, uh, I, I'd rather suck the dust and everything up than have it flying in the air. So... Yeah. Anyway, shoot me any requests you might have. Um, tell me if there's anything in particular you want to see. And I will see what I can do and how I can do it. So until next time, everyone. Bye.